Hey everybody, welcome to another video from the Electronic Armory. In this video, we're going to continue our series in developing a 3D game in Blender and Unreal. And in the last video, we stopped with what is going to be our corridor or our hallway for our maze game. And so in this video, we're going to take this hallway and I'm going to show you all the different settings to export it into Unreal and what we need to do to go from Blender into Unreal and all the settings and why we choose those settings so that you understand them. All right, so where we left off in the last video is a two-walled, one-floor corridor, and we're going to actually place these pieces end-to-end -end once we get into Unreal. All right, so I have this little graphic here to show you the difference in axes between Blender, Unreal, and Unity. Now, let me move this to the side just so you can see what we're talking about here in Blender. Let's go ahead and rotate this around just slightly so that we see the y-axis in our little widget and go back to our little diagram here. This arrow is facing away from us, which means this axis here is the negative y-axis. And this would make sense. Likewise, the positive x-axis is going to the right. This makes a lot of sense if we go back to Blender and we kind of look at it from the top-down view. And if you remember from any of your math classes, y is the positive here, X is the positive here. This would be the first quadrant. And this is why we've chosen this axis in Blender. And of course, Z is in the up direction, in the positive up direction, and negative Z is in this side. But in Unreal, they flip that around where the positive Y is facing us, but the X stays the same and the Z stays the same. And so this is really nice. Now, if you're used to Unity or if you've ever used Unity, they do the complete opposite on all axes. The positive x-axis is in the left direction in this particular diagram. The z is coming at us, and the positive y is in the up and down direction. Now, there's reasons why they have chosen that that we won't get into in this case, but you can see that between Blender and Unreal, it matches us the closest. So when we export from Blender, what we have to do is we have to flip this y so that it's over here to match the axis in Unreal. The consequence of not doing it this way is basically if you have a character that's facing the front or any object that's facing the front, when you import it into Unreal, it'll just be flipped. It's not a huge deal, but what we're going to do is get some presets set up so that every time we export to Unreal, everything matches up. We don't have to worry about this anymore, and we can go along our day. Now, you can set up some other presets for Unity if you're familiar with that, but we're going to go ahead and do that for Unreal. All right, so if we go back to Blender, I'm going to first save this file, and I'm just going to call this Level Pieces. Okay, so once you navigate to the place that you want to save this, I'm going to call this Level Pieces, and this is going to be one file that contains all of our pieces because we want to make... The, we want to allow the user to make turns left and right or kind of have these junctions in our maze. And so this is just one piece amongst many. All right, so once we have that, we're going to hit the save Blender file. And now we're ready to export this into Unreal. Go up here to the top left-hand corner, File, and go down to the Export menu. You should have number a couple number of exports to export out to. And we're interested in the FBX file format. This is what Unreal consumes natively. And so if you click on that, it'll bring up this save menu. Where do you want to save this? I'm going to create a new folder for this. And I'm just going to do underscore FBX. And I use the underscore just so it bubbles up to the top when you're sorting it by alphanumeric characters. Hit enter. I'm going to go into that FBX file. And I'm going to change it from level pieces to level straight. You can name these whatever you want. The most important thing is down here in the lower left-hand corner. And because it's so important, I'm going to make this really, really big so you guys can see it. Make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and so here are our settings for our export FBX. And the main thing that we want to do is select selected objects. When I'm exporting multiple objects from the same Blender file, again, we're going to have different pieces in here that we want to export out from. I want to only export out certain pieces at a time, and so make sure that this is selected. Otherwise, everything gets exported at the same time. We can further limit what gets exported down here. We certainly don't need the camera or lamps in our Unreal. We're going to set that up in... Um, by ourselves, but we may want armatures for different pieces that we're going to animate and the mesh. So holding down the shift key, I can select 
those two at the same time. And that's going to be all that we want to export here. I skipped over this section here for forward and up. Now, if we bring up our diagram here, we want to make sure that Z is up in the up direction. So we'll switch over here and make sure that the up direction is our Z up. Go back to our diagram. That forward is Y, but our current Y is needs to be negative. So we need to switch this over from negative y in the forward direction and what negative y in the forward direction is going to do is actually make negative y this negative y this y so it actually just flips it okay so the next thing what we want to do is go over to this geometries tab and change our smoothing from normals only to edge smoothing and this is that's just the way that unreal handles it and so we want to match up our fbx export to match what Unreal is going to expect in this FBX file. We can go over to armatures, uh, but we're not gonna mess with this right now. And then any animation stuff, we'll also not mess with that. All right, I wanna create a prefix for this so I don't always have to remember which is which and what these different settings are. So under operator presets, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this plus key to create a preset. And I'm going to name this Unreal Export settings you can name it whatever you want but that's pretty clear to me and i'm going to hit okay now blender resets these and so we just have to drop this down hit unreal export settings and then we'll get we're good to go all right so the final thing is once we have this named make sure it's named properly it's in the fbx folder that you want it to be in and then we're going to export fbx okay and so that's how you export fbx files from blender to unreal and why we use those settings so hopefully that makes sense to you and you really start getting an understanding of the different coordinate systems between Blender and Unreal and why we have to flip those axes. All right, and in the next video, we're going to take that FBX file, pull it into Unreal and start creating things in Unreal. So look forward to the next video. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you want to see more content and we'll see you next time. Thanks.